and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kira, and if you like urban legends, paranormal things, anything creepy or unexplainable, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about one of the most scary and paranormal objects. Today, we are going to be talking about the Satanic Idol doll. In the world, there are many paranormal objects. They vary from peaceful to extremely dangerous in nature. Whether it is stuff that is attached to somebody who has passed away and had a sentimental attachment to this object, to a demonic entity that could be attaching itself to an object to cause harm and havoc to those that are around it. We have all heard about Annabelle and the Dybbuk Box, but have you ever heard of the satanic idol that resides in the Warren Occult Museum? To know about the satanic idol, we need to talk a little bit about Ed and Lorraine Warren and the Warren Occult Museum first. Ed and Lorraine Warren were mostly known for their expertise and their vast knowledge on the dead, deceased, and anything occult. Ed was a demonologist, which means the study of demons within the religious beliefs and myth, as well as an author, whereas Lorraine was and still is the star of the show as she was a medium, which means she communicated and was very clairvoyant when it came to connecting with the dead, spirits, and the living. ...and was very clairvoyant when it came to connecting with the dead, spirits, and the living. Together with both of their gifts and passions, they became an unstoppable duo that took paranormal communities by storm, back in the day and even now. They had many experiences and met many people while trying to help with the paranormal entities and the paranormal things that were happening to them. Eventually, they started to collect some of the most haunted objects and things and kept them as a way to prevent them from being out in the world and causing more damage. And this is how the Warren Occult Museum came to be. It was just basically a huge collection of all the stuff that they gathered on their travels while helping other people and anything paranormal that they came across over the years. The Warrens collected trinkets and totems. They claimed they were defiled by evil. And because of this, locking them in the museum to keep them safe from the public, or in this case, to keep the public safe from them. A bunch of the cases that the Warrens had a hand in have been made into a bunch of movie adaptations like The Conjuring 1, The Conjuring 2, the Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, Annabelle, and a bunch more that have created this whole Conjuring universe based on Ed and Lorraine's expeditions and paranormal encounters and cases. I personally love the Conjuring movies and the Conjuring series. I fell in love with the first Conjuring movie back in the day, and I was a child who loved sitting down and watching scary movies and horror movies. So The Conjuring was a masterpiece. I've gone and seen multiple of The Conjuring movies and films in theaters and I just get so excited whenever they announce that there's a new Conjuring movie coming out because that means I get to go sit in the theater, eat some popcorn, and watch the iconic stories of Ed and Lorraine Warren. And personally, if I ever could, I would love to meet Ed and Lorraine Warren, but unfortunately they have passed away, but it would have been super cool to actually get to meet them in person. But I will say, I am determined to go to the Warren Occult Museum someday. I would just love to see all this stuff up in person and up close. I think it would be really cool. But let me know if you've been to the Cult Museum yourself. How was it? Did anything happen? I've heard stories about people passing out or fainting. Or that might have been with the Zach Bagan Haunted Museum. I think they've happened at both, but I want to go to both of the haunted museums. At least once in my life. I don't know about you, but something about just like seeing Annabelle in person, it's a scary thought, but I would personally love to do it. I would love to meet and see Annabelle, but of course be respectful because I don't want anything bad to happen to me. But eventually I will do a whole story and video on Ed and Lorraine Warren, their stories, their cases, and some of the influence that went into making the Conjuring movies based on specific cases, because they're all super interesting and Everybody just loves Ed and Lorraine Warren if you love the paranormal community. But now that we've gone into a little bit on Ed and Lorraine Warren, I think it's time that we talk about the Satanic Idol, which is one out of hundreds of haunted and paranormal objects in the Cult Museum. Now you might be wondering what is the backstory behind this doll or statue and why is it so creepy? 
The first encounter with this doll happened deep in the woods in Connecticut in 1991, when a man was walking alone in the Sandy Hook Forest. The man was an extremely skilled hunter and often hunted deer in these woods. The woods were calm and peaceful like they had been the past previous times that he had been there. But this time, he ran into something very strange and unexplainable. Before him was a very creepy and ominous looking doll. The strange doll had a lean and skinny body, long horns on the top of its head, and would later be discovered that it had evil spirits attached to the doll, almost like a host. And described that he felt like the idol was sucking his strength and energy in order to weaken him. In some ways, almost like he was trying to gain more energy. The doll's presence filled him with this sense of dread and fear and left him with this very uneasy feeling. The man eventually decided to walk away from the doll after some time. He began trying to find his way out of the woods, but he had lost where he was and was now somehow lost in the woods with this scary and energy draining doll. Which I don't know about you, but after you get an uneasy feeling about anything, a situation, a place, your body just tells you you need to get out of there. And if somehow you're lost or you're stuck, your body will go into fight or flight mode. After he had left the doll alone and started wandering around trying to find his way out, he came across an old man with a black trench coat and very white hair and beard. The cloak was also so dark and ominous. It was almost like a shadow figure walking opposite of him. It was almost as if the man was walking in the same direction as where the doll was. Even though the man was lost, scared, and very shaken up, he gathered up enough courage and asked for directions to get out of the forest. Fortunately, the old man guided him out, but didn't say any words, just started walking and expected the man to follow and then pointed in the direction that he needed to walk. Again, he said nothing at all. Although I will say there isn't enough information to know the backstory or how the idol 100% got placed in the forest. Although I will say there isn't enough information or history to know the backstory of the idol or how it ended up in the woods, but I will discuss this in a little bit here, but Ed and Lorraine Warren did come to find out why and what it was being used for in the forest. It is said that the satanic idol was handmade and was used to perform satanic rituals by high rank satanic priest. Now you might be wondering, since there isn't a lot known about the satanic idol, how is it in the Warren's Occult Museum? So when the hunter or the man exited the forest, he went and found Ed Warren, told him about this creepy statue in the woods and what he experienced, and of course him and Lorraine came and checked it out. Lorraine Warren decided to have a look and use her gifts to see why this doll was causing so much fear in the woods of Connecticut. After she touched the idol, she stated, it was one of the most dreadful paranormal artifacts that she had ever encountered. Without hesitation, the Warrens took the satanic idol back to their home and placed it in their basement, which would become the Warren Occult Museum later on. After the Warrens placed the idol in their basement, Lorraine began to experience horrifying activities such as levitation and being in a catatonic state for days. And she became strangely sick and ended up in the hospital for three days after touching the satanic idol. Everything comes in threes and that is the extremely terrifying thought and realization about the satanic idol. After the third day, Lorraine Warren was perfectly fine and back to normal. Doctors couldn't even find anything wrong with her. Ed stated when Lorraine got sick, he knew it was from the satanic priest for taking his statue. Lorraine also stated once she got better and out of the hospital that the satanic priest in the cult had put a curse on the doll because Ed had stolen it. He couldn't punish Ed, but he could punish the one that he loved the most. And it was the only new haunted object that they had brought into their house, so it was confirmed that this whole bad line of bad luck, illness, and everything bad that happened was due to the idol. Whether the spirits of the idol were angry that it had to leave its home in the woods, or it was a super negative entity, or there was a curse put on the idol, either way it is very scary and who knows, it could have gone way worse than just being hospitalized for three days. Lorraine could have suffered something way more severe and extreme, which I'm glad that she didn't. So one thing that I will say about the idol is that it has the ability to lure in their victims and drain their energies. 
And since this statue or doll was used in satanic rituals, who knows what kind of energies and spirits are actually attached to it and how it could have an extreme effect on somebody, especially if it is still attached to that cult leader or the satanic priest. But anyways, that is all that is really known about the satanic idol. It is terrifying to look at, no offense to the satanic idol, I don't want any bad energies coming through talking about it, but it is very creepy and the story behind it is terrifying. I know that there isn't much known about it, but what is known about it is that it can cause you to get extremely sick, especially if you disturb it or steal it away from, let's say, a cult leader. But anyways, I want to know your thoughts on the satanic idol and let me know if there's any other war and occult museum artifacts that you would like me to cover on this channel. I find the museum extremely fascinating and I would love to do more content like this if that's something you guys would like to watch. But anyways, that concludes our video for today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment, what's your favorite occult museum artifact. But anyways, that concludes our video for today. I hope you guys have a good morning, evening, or night. Okay, bye guys!